Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Rahmani Rahim and Assalamu Alaikum dear students our today's lesson is from your chapter evolution and after the theory of Lamarckism and Darwinism today we will discuss another theory related to the evolution this is called the neo-Darwinism neo-Darwinism is a modified version of the theory of natural selection and is sort of reconciliation between the Darwin and the Devaris theory the scientists who contributed to this theory are the Huxley or the R. A. Fisher. Now we will discuss what are the postulates of the neo-Darwinism. The first is the genetic variability. Variability is an opposing force to the heredity. It forms the raw material for the evolution. So we will see what are the various sources of the genetic variability. The first is the chromosomal aberrations. These are the morphological changes in the chromosomes without affecting their number. These are four types. This could be the deletion, which is the loss of the genes block from the chromosomes. There could be the duplication, which is the presence of some genes more than once. And this could be the translocation, which is the transfer of gene block from one chromosome to other. And it could be the inversion, which is the rotation of the intercalary genes block through 180 degree. All these type of the genetic variability or the chromosomal aberration forms you can see in the figure. The next source of genetic variability is the numerical chromosomal change. It could be euploidy or an euploidy. What is the euploidy? This is the gain or the loss of one more or more genome. It may be haploidy or polypoloidy. And the an euploidy is the gain or the loss of one or two chromosomes. It may be hypopoloidy. You can watch the flowchart for the numerical chromosomal change. The third source could be the gene mutation, which is the invisible changes in the chemical nature of the gene. This includes the point mutation, the cross mutation, deletion, addition, and the substitution. The fourth type of the source for the genetic variability is the recombination of the genes. New combination of the genes are formed due to the crossing over chance arrangement of the bivalent during the metaphase or the chance of fusion of gametes which is totally up to chance and the fifth source of the genetic variability the hybridization the interbreeding of two different individuals to produce the hybrid this introduces the genes from one species to the gene pool of the other species now we are moving to the sixth source of the genetic variability which is the mutagens these are the physical and the chemical agents used to introduce the mutations artificially this could be the chemical mutagens and this could be the physical mutagens chemical mutagens include such as the base analogs methylating agents and the acridine dyes while the physical mutagens are such as the temperature x-rays all the ultraviolet rays Seventh source of the genetic variability is the genetic drift. What is the genetic drift? This is the change in the gene frequency of small breeding population due to the bottleneck or the founder effect. And uh, you can watch this genetic drift effect in the figure. The eighth source of the genetic variability is the immigration, which introduces many genes in the existing gene pool by the crossbreeding between the native individuals and the immigrants. Now students, according to the neo-Darwinism, natural selection does not operate on the survival of the fittest, but it operates through the different reproduction and the comparative reproduction success. What is the differential reproduction? These are the members which are better adapted to the environment to reproduce at high rate and produce more offsprings than the members which are less adapted. Due to the sexual communication, there is free flow of the genes and the genes and the genetic variability spreads from the individuals to deem them to the population and finally in the most of the members of the species. So the natural selection caused the progressive changes in the gene frequency. Frequency of more adaptive genes increases and that of the less adaptive genes decreases. Here watching how this natural selection occurs. 
this figure is explaining that the, if first in the population these variance amounts are low and gradually this vary, amount of the variance or the number of the variance is increasing in the population and at the four figure is representing you that how the whole population is changed by the presence of the variance in the population. So students this was all about the neo-Darwinism theory which represent the idea of the evolution. So this is all for today. Thank you and Allah Hafiz.